अशक्यम प्रकृते है रूते जीवन लाइफ इज नॉट पॉसिबल विदाउट मदर नेचर एंड सो वी मस्ट प्रोटेक्ट आवर मदर नेचर बाय ऑल मींस अ वेरी ग्रीन मॉर्निंग टू आवर एस्टीम्ड स्पीकर मिस्टर उदय बोरा सर चीफ कंजर्वेटर ऑफ फॉरेस्ट फॉरेस्ट डिपार्टमेंट गवर्नमेंट ऑफ गुजरात एंड ऑल द व्यूवर्स हु हैव जॉइंड अस टुडे फॉर द वर्चुअल सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ वर्ल्ड एनवायरमेंट डे द टॉपिक फॉर टुडेज वेबिनार इज वेरी थॉट प्रोवोकिंग दैट इज क्लाइमेट चेंज एंड वी role of citizens in preventing climate change now without wasting much time i request dr jia machrani coordinator environmental law clinic for her warm welcome address jia ma'am over to you thank you hirul ma'am a very 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 good morning and the green morning to our special guest mr uday vora sir all the faculty members and all the viewers and students of faculty of law gls university and uh, i would like to take this opportunity to warmly welcome uday vora sir a former chief conservator of forest at the forest department government of gujarat vora sir is a renowned birder wildlife lover and the forester and the true environmentalist by heart sir on behalf of the faculty of law gls university environmental law clinics welcomes you on the e platform of gls university sir thank I you further, thank you thank you sir i further welcome all the attendees and all the viewers of the webinar on the climate change and the and the be the role of citizen in pre preventing the climate change organized by faculty of law gls university as today we celebrate the world environment day I want to take an opportunity and a moment to emphasize the crucial role of each and every one of us. We play an uh, the important role we play in preserving and protecting our planet and our Mother Earth. We all have witnessed a first-hand impact on human activity of human activities on our ecosystem, and I cannot stress enough the urgency with which we must address these challenges. one of them is climate change the three keys or the three things which we can use by for solving this problem is first we need to educate ourselves for which we have this uh, you know knowledge gaining and enriching session of uday vora sir secondly is we should take the action for that and third is to become the engaged citizen being a responsible stakeholder of the environment the environmental law clinic of faculty of law gls university have invited uday vora sir for a knowledge gaining session so without wasting much time i would like to hand over the screen to hiral ma'am for formally introducing the uday vora sir and then sir we all are waiting for your uh, you know a session on the climate change sir i formally welcome you on the behalf of entire faculty of law gls university sir thank you so very much okay. thank you very much thank you very much thank you so much ma'am for a very warm welcome now i take this opportunity to formally introduce our guest speaker of the webinar mr uday vora sir sir is a renowned birder wildlifer and forester who has recently retired from the gujarat forest department as a chief conservator of forests and is our next human star shri uday vora sir after completing msc in botany from saurashtra university worked as a field collector in sir p p institute of science for 3 years in 1982 sir joined gujarat forest service as acf sir has obtained his diploma in forestry from state forest service college dehradun sir also possesses a diploma in wildlife management from wildlife institute of india dehradun and mphil in natural resources management from iifm bhopal sir was awarded a medal for writing best management plan and was awarded as best all round wildlifer during his diploma course as wildlife institute of india dehradun Sir has also been nominated to Indian Forest Service, and he has more than fifteen research papers on his credit, and contributed in preparations of management plans for several protected areas of Gujarat. 
Uday sir has first ever reported the nesting of lesser flamingo in Little Run of Kutch in 1984. He was instrumental in declaration of eight wetlands under MOEF scheme of wetlands of national importance and declaration of Nal Sarovar as Ramsar site. Since its first ever exercises in 1992, Sir has been technical coordinator of all the biannual census of water birds in Nal Sarovar and Thol bird sanctuaries in Gujarat. Sir has also always encouraged and helped researchers in conducting various studies related to wildlife and is also associated with Youth Hostels Association of India since last 25 years and has organized various trekking programs in state as well as in Himalayas. Sir, the August audience is eagerly waiting to hear from your vast ocean of knowledge and experience. And now we are all ears to you, sir. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you very much, uh, all of you. And uh, Hiral has given an elaborate introduction. I don't know. Now it will be really difficult for me to justify the topic, talk of the day that is on the uh, climate change on the environment day. Now it's a more than 50 years since the uh, Stockholm conference and we have uh, started uh, creating the awareness about the environment, the conservation of the environment where we live. So in a 50 years, rather, uh, if you say there is a lot of water has gone into Narmada and Ganga and everywhere, a lot of changes has taken place, a lot of studies have taken place and uh, the researchers have shown that what is uh, what is happening with the planet Earth. Uh, Irvin, can you start with the presentation? Can you start sharing? Yeah. So when I was asked to talk about uh, this topic, uh, I was a little bit skeptical about the topic because it's a very vast subject. And uh, in a short period, what part is to be dealt? Then I thought that, okay, I will try to justify within a uh, few minutes of 40, 45 minutes or like that. And uh, I felt that, okay, we also require to know because these are all the jargons. The people are using all different terms uh, in a different uh, way and they are using loosely. They are interrelated uh, uh, terms. So let us try to understand what is the climate change. The United Nations definition says that climate change refers to long-term shift in the temperature and weather patterns. Very simple definition. So it, there changes in the temperature and as well as the, in the weather patterns. Now, otherwise, these changes were there also in the past also. That such shifts were also natural also. That can be due to the sun's activity, volcanic eruptions, and uh, similar uh, issues. But after the industrial era after uh, about uh, since 1800 the our activity human activities have, is the main cause main driver for the climate change and that too primarily due to the burning of the fossil fuels like coal oil and gas we know that we all are using we are largely dependent on this sources the coal oil and gas next slide please It will be next slides. Ah. Now, the other term which we are using is a global warming. That is also a kind of a climate change. But the global warming is used for the change in the Earth's uh, temperature. Surface temperature, that is the and air and the oceans. The global warming is often described as the most recent example in the climate change. It's basically a rise in the average surface temperature of the earth. And that is due to the rising level of the greenhouse gases. So the another terms for in, then what are the greenhouse gases? Next slide, please. The greenhouse gases, again, we are using this term very loosely, greenhouse gases. What is the greenhouse itself? The greenhouse is a something like a, what we say we are using the term greenhouse or is also a glass house where the temperature is maintained. That is when we have to grow the 
plants we are using it is greenhouse is a is act similar to glass in a greenhouse which absorbs the sun's heat that radiates from the earth surface trap it in the atmosphere and prevent it from the escaping into the space so when this temperature the heat is uh, prevented from escaping to uh, space so earth temperature becomes more and more warmer which otherwise should be there are many guesses but that is basically the traps the heat and this gases the the atmosphere becomes more and more warmer and it will has got the vast impacts next slide please there are five major gases greenhouse gases there the carbon dioxide we all know nitrous oxide methane chlorofluorocarbons the cfcs what you call and water vapor they among these the carbon dioxide and methane are major and they emits from what that is from the use of the gasoline let the it return is only driving a car but it also includes airplanes and all other equipments which they use the uh, oil gas and other things in a eastern countries in the usa europe even the they are using the gas coal for the heating the building and then also it impacts on the temperature of the earth and we all know this cutting down of the forest that releases the carbon dioxide and again the it leads to the rise in the temperature with the population increase lot of requirement of the people the development activities we know that the forests are decreasing day by day if we talk about our national policy the people say that the policy says that uh, our country is the 3 33% of the geography area should be under the tree cover against which at a national level we have got hardly 22 23% area and in our state in gujarat it is hardly 14% under the total tree cover if we go to the forest area it will come to the 11% around 11% only and day by day the forest and the tree cover is otherwise decreasing despite lot of efforts lot of efforts we know that everybody is now talking about the tree planting but from the planting and the raising there is a lot of difference so people plant the trees and then they forget if you forget the tree after planting then the tree will not grow so it required to be also that we should see that the, with the trees we have planted that should grow the another is the agriculture also uh, methane emissions the results you know that when we are using the fertilizer the fertilizer also impacts on the temperature mainly because of the run off excessive use of the fertilizers and the insecticides so this all the issues leads to increase in the earth's uh, temperature next slide please now what who is responsible for this of course we that includes me and yourself all viewers as a human being is fact nobody can deny it that human activities are causing the greenhouse gasing which leads to the warming of the earth temperature when you go by the statistics if i say yeah what we got difference of a 1% the earth surface is more than 1.5 degree 1.1 degree centigrade warmer what it was before 200 years ago it, around 1800 before the industrial revolution and is warmer rather warmest in the last 100000 years so the impact the melting of the snow on the earth surface uh, 
the rise in the sea level and it has got the very drastic consequences we always we talk very easily very every day we say there is a unseasonal rainfall there is a and the, in the cities the temperature is rising it is becoming too hot so these are the effects of the all our uh, activities which leads to the rise in the global temperature day by day we are our use of the gasoline is increasing we all know that and how how it impacts we unnecessary we are using the vehicles cars next slide please next next slide see what happens the people think that the climate change this means the warmer temperature rise in the temperature is just only the beginning of the story but in and on earth earth is a system and where everything is connected the change in one area can influence the change in all other areas there are droughts there is a water scarcity severe fires and particularly you might have uh, came to know in the through the news newspaper that in, there was a huge fire on the amazon forest rising the sea levels the flooding flooding is not only because of the rains apart from the rains because of the melting of the snow even the higher himalayas the snow melts which leads to the flooding polar ice and ultimately also declining in the biodiversity so you can one can easily see through the google how many species we have already lost how many species are threatened threatened with the extinction and ultimately it will going it is going to affect our own life can't believe uh, i was rather uh, for me it was rather i forgot and again i just uh, refreshed myself who is contributing maximum of course the developed countries are contributing the maximum but among the seven countries india is also one of them the seven countries are accounted to about half of the global greenhouse em emissions in 2020 so that includes america india european union indonesia russian federation brazil so ultimately greenhouse gas emission if it is causing the climate change and uh, global warming then it become imperative to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions next slide please what is required to be done what can be done at the global level at the country level and at the international there are a lot of forums there are a lot of uh, treaties there is a paris agreement there is a montreal protocol so that is cutting down the emissions then we have to um, adapting to climate change impacts and the financing required adjustment the financing is a rather a different topic but it is something the polluter pays principle so if you cannot cut down your emissions then pay for that that required to payment and rather it is to be required to be given to the developing countries there is a global framework united nations treaties there is a ipcc there is a ffcc and uh, many other uh, treaties montreal protocol paris agreement we have to decide and we have to cut down our greenhouse emissions so we have to 
reduce the use of coal, oil and gas. So fossil fuels is to be need to be kept in ground by 2050 and it is uh, the agreement is by 2030 it should be half. Can we can we imagine the stopping the use of the coal, oil, gas, how it can be? Next slide please. Now, national level international agreements, we know that now we are on the BS6, we are using uh, the standards of emission standards and like that. But what an individual can co uh, contribute in mitigating first is the save energy at home. Okay, I'm sitting before you, my AC is not on, I'm not using the AC. Air condition, I do have the air condition, but I'm not using it very scanty use of the AC is there. First of all, that we have to cut down the use of the energy. It's, it is said that energy saved is energy produced. We know we are switching to the, all the different mode of the energy. Now we are using the solar energy. We have got the wind power. And uh, yesterday or day before you didn't use it, now we are also going to harness geothermal energy. So it's a, individually, we have to first to task to save energy at home. Home doesn't mean only home. It includes your college, wherever you are. If the lights are or fan are on unnecessarily, that requires to be stopped. I really... Uh, feel worried when I travel to Ahmedabad from Gandhinagar and uh, in Ahmedabad even at the midnight at times I see all huge buildings and have got the too many of the lights. So it not only the is not the issue of using the energy it is energy use energy use so we require to use lot many coal oil for producing that energy. It also affect the life. As a citizen, we also should think of stopping, reducing our use, use of the uh, vehicles. So walking is a uh, one thing, bike, bike, use of the bike is uh, another aspect and the public transport. I found many of the friends also, they are people are ashamed of using the public transport. They try to go, okay, we'll, we have got the car, we'll go by car. Not only that, many a times I see that everybody is traveling their different cars, despite there is a space in another car. So we have to think on this aspect also. As far as possible, we have to take the public transport. Third aspect is, no, please, please go back. Go back. We have to go for the, become a vegetarian. More, eat more vegetables. I have to admit that I do consume uh, non-veg, but hardly 12 times in a year, very sporadically. Because particularly the animals, they store the carbon, carbon is stored in them. And otherwise, uh, they release the carbon. Traveling, yes. Consider your traveling. That is another aspect. Throw away less food. It's very important aspect. We go to the hotel, eat less, waste more. If there is a, some program, there is a function in the marriage ceremony or birthday party or anything, and we waste lot many food. We have to put a check on this aspect. That we have to reduce wasting the food. Probably in the 12th uh, uh, standards of syllabus, this aspect was that the three R's were there. The reduce, reuse and recycle. All the resources, wherever possible, first of all, we have to reduce the use. Second aspect, the reuse. Uh, 
if you ask your parents, the students, if students they ask their parents, they will come to know that uh, they we used to use the papers of the previous year's notebook, all the blank pages we are using. And now with the computer, we are wasting paper like anything. Now, paper is another resource which can be recycled. Recycling a paper that is not only uh, reduces the requirement of cutting the forest, bamboos, but also reduces, it requires 26% less energy in making paper. Same, another aspect reuse is the glass. I'm forgetting the country, but there was a country where there was a uh, typical norms that it requires a different price of the glass. So containers, the bottles, when you go to the either in the soft drinks, cold drinks, or the medicines, the cost of the container is separate and the cost of the medicine or the whatever the liquid is the stored in it, the cost is different. And they are supposed to return the price of the bottle. The glass can be reused. Recycling of glass do not save much of the energy, but it can be reused, definitely. Recycling is another aspect I have, is of the matter. We don't know how much we are wasting which otherwise recyclable. Just think of a lead of a cold drink bottle, what we are doing. Now metal, it is gone. Metal, we have to take it out the metal from the earth. The mineral we have to dug out. We have to process. So if we can recycle whatever the metal is possible. Even the shaving blades, I, I remember shaving blades, it individually may not give you a penny, but if you collect, give it to the that waste paper man who comes to your place, if he has got some quantity, he will earn and that metal will be recycled. Now it is uh, relatively less use of the aluminium, otherwise the aluminium containers, the toothpaste and other uh, items were in the tubes were made of the aluminium. Still, there are items which are coming in that. Now, this all the things are required to be recycled. If you can recycle, it is very important. Yes, uh, change your home source of energy. I've got the solar rooftop and uh, solar rooftop uh, every year. I, I have not paid a single penny as an electricity bill since last three years plus. And uh, every year I am getting a sizable amount in my bank account because of the what is I have produced ex excess of the electricity. So if possible, we have to think about that also. Uh, in the cities, many of the tenement uh, apartments, they can have the solar rooftops, they can use it for the their common uh, use, uh, electricity they can produce on the solar rooftop. Then also think about the switch to an electric vehicle, though at times it appears that it is not economically viable, one has to consider about switching to an electric vehicle also. I have to admit that I'm yet to shift myself to the electric vehicle. I'm still using a car which is a, about three year, four year old. But yes, I'm considering to switch to the electric vehicle also. Next, please. Next slide, please. So these are this four four are reduce, reuse, recycle. This is really tricky for the present day generation. The reusing, if you talk about the reuse of the clothes, I remember, and still at times I do, not fully. When the collar is gone, I take it to the tailor that just switch off the collar, entire my shirt is okay. So we can think of that. Secondly, in the earlier days, when there was a family, the clothes 
used by the elder brother was used by the younger brother now it is becoming very less purane kapde kon pehnega that like recycle also you talk this all leads to the think about the respecting respecting the mother earth we have to understand that we have not inherited we have borrowed it from our future generations so we have to respect the nature all the natural resources are to be used very wisely very conservatively wherever possible avoid the car there were the questions the uh, dr binod das zero carbon emissions by 2070 yeah but we are thinking of the 2030 at present that uh, to cut down to the half uh, you know delhi has uh, stopped the diesel vehicles um, though this aspect is a debatable but anyway it is going to lead to the reducing the uh, carbon emissions and uh, many people they talk about uh, this will adversely affect economy and i remember the name of the forgetting the name of the american president probably ronald reagan or prior to that he said that we will adopt all the technologies we will try to do the everything to minimize the greenhouse gases but we will not adopt the strategy which go is going to affect our economy now if that kind of the attitude is there then it will be really difficult to go for the zero carbon emissions so we have to all will have to collectively have to work on this aspect uh one more question is there how can youth of india take leadership role in combating climate change yes youth can take i have always uh, talk to many forums that youth they are full with the energy first of all they are very enthusiastic and we at uh, i'm also associated with the youth hostels and many of the other uh, nature clubs and like that lot many activities being done and still it is very less collecting the plastic from the sanctuaries now there is another aspect also now youth has to can take is a uh, first of all the youngsters i say unnecessary don't use the bike i i really at times i get worried particularly the college students they keep on moving on the bike unnecessarily uh, everybody knows the reason but they have to reduce the use of the uh, motorcycle or the cars unnecessarily no but in ahmedabad i have seen the people they leave the home early morning by 5 5:30 they go 10 kilometers away from their house for walking 2 kilometers they are using the car going 10 kilometers drive from their home and then they will walk 2 or 3 kilometers i i feel it is ridiculous it it is a really uh, we, one has to consider no we have to minimize the use of the vehicles people are going i i know the people are going just from navrangpura or from the satellite they will go for a cup of the a famous tea store at the lal darwaza just for a cup of tea now i i i don't agree with that that uh, that kind of the use is definitely required to be minimized there is one more question uh, sonal uh, habitat loss due to climate change is one of the major reason for the species extinction and loss of biodiversity can city citizens contribute in preventing it definitely uh, the awareness of the citizen is most important how it can come if you know see it is really difficult we cannot go back to the ice age and cannot be uh, it is really difficult to uh, stop the uh, developmental activities the only thing is that when any development activity take place 
one has to learn about their own and it's what will be its impact how the habitat loss takes place it takes if a habit first is if habitat is diverted from another use now thanks to the certain laws like the forest conservation act the wildlife protection act the diversion of the forest land is reduced but even though if there is a habitat loss one has to be aware about there are many areas outside the forest rather we have got the very less area under the forest and many of the wildlife are outside the forest and outside the sanctuaries also and in that case one has to be conscious so now there is a provision of the public hearing so one has to go for that they have to uh, read the what are the uh, consequences will be there what is the eia whether eia is uh, up to the mark or not and how it is going to affect any species uh, if you remember the last year or so there was an issue with the thol and uh, that there are some though it was a uh, treated water to be released but the permission was given and then everybody became conscious everybody has uh, uh, shown their uh, concern about it and ultimately uh, that project has to be modified and uh, release of the water in the thol sanctuary is will be not allowed that has been the verdict of that uh, conscious people's uh, movement so people has to be i i will not uh, advocate the activism unnecessary activism if there is a requirement there if there is no alternative something is going to happen that going to adversely affect any development activity is going to adversely affect no doubt about it but we have to see we have to weigh it, uh, all the pros and cons uh, yes siddharth tyagi has also asked the same about to work on the sustainable goal and same type of developing world country yeah that is this is what we are heading it now probably we are leading in the alternative source of energy we have got the largest solar power plants in the country rather in the asia we have got now large wind mills also we have got various schemes now the solar rooftops at the home now even the farmers can have their uh, have the solar uh, power plant in their farmhouse in the farms and they can use it so this all the policy decisions are there and it is going to help it uh uraj bhai your question i am really i'm sorry but uh, i don't know because i am not much aware about the artificial intelligence part so i, I will not able to comment on that how it can be helpful in the environmental conservation uh, is beyond my domain so any more questions on the board yes sir uh yeah. sir uh, there are few more questions uh, if you permit yeah yeah please 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 yes i will sir. try uh sir uh, the first question is uh, what are the major challenges in mitigating climate change and transitioning to a low carbon economy yeah your question itself was the answer economy low carbon economy we have to go it now see solar power plants solar energy use of the alternative source of the energy that is the one maximum if we can produce by the alternative source of energy it has got the adverse effect also it is not that it is uh, uh, do not have any adverse impact but the pros and cons then there are more benefit than the loss because solar plants require large areas diverse of large areas for creating the solar power plants so it it has it requires lot of land which otherwise can be useful for the by the wildlife and the other purposes that land will be used for making the solar power plants the windmill has got the adverse impacts but it has got the benefits also so and now it's what the people are talking about uh, what the green credits also so 
those who have got the surplus, they can sell it, their green trades. Same way, the carbon trading is taking place. Uh, we are far behind in the carbon trading, but slowly, slowly we are heading for that. We are thinking of the carbon trading, taking of the carbon credits. Haryana and Mizoram, the two states are far ahead in that part, that they're, they're growing the trees, storing the carbon and selling the carbon credit. So that is the only alternative. Otherwise, and as far as possible, we, we have to adopt the technology which has got the low emissions. We have to go for the latest technology. It may be ultimately technology is for what? Is for the human consumption. And it will affect the purchasing power of the human also for any item of the producing any item. But we have to consider all other incentives. The incentives are given by the state. Incentives are given by the central government. And even the under the United Nations program also there are incentives. So we can go accordingly. That will help the mitigating the emissions. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, the next question is, how long will it take for us to realistically save the earth from harsh and the adverse effects of climate change, considering the damage it has already caused to the environment? So the first, my, I, I believe the first step is that we have to hold. We have to not to think of the going back to the situation of the 1900 or something like that. But first is, whatsoever we have reached, we have to hold that situation. We have to stop the preventing, the, uh, we have to stop for damaging further. That is the first requirement. Then and then only we can think of other step. At present still, we are not in position to say that uh, we are in a status quo position. So first we have to reach to the status quo. And probably the government has uh, thought of about two th 2030 to reducing the 50%. And that will help. Yes, I, I was reading that uh, the COVID has helped. COVID has dropped up to 2% or something because of the COVID. <laughs> Though there was a lot of adverse impact. But COVID has uh, reduced the 2% or more the greenhouse gases emissions. That is a really good sign. But otherwise, there is no, no, no timeline can be given only because it will depend on the citizens' action. How we are going to act? How everybody is going to act? Look at, I remember when I worked, with, I worked for 40 years, almost 40 years with the government, I know. The previously, there was a typewriter. And there was a typewriter. The typist was taking care that if there is a mistake, he has to type the again. Now, oh, another print third print, fourth copy, that kind of situation is there. And I remember that one typing error has delayed our work for three months. The typist says type P-R-O-T-E-S-T -E instead of the P-R-O-T-E-C-T. That the citizen will protect, the villagers will protect the plantation. Instead it was type protest the plantation. No one has noticed the letter as everything has gone up to the central government and they have inquired about three months that why the villagers are going to protest. So that requires the care. Everyone has to be, and uh, what we uh, say, they think globally, act locally. So that will depend on everybody's individual action. If somebody says, if I throw a garbage over here, how it is going to affect me? It is somebody else's moderation. Then it is not going to work. I can afford so I can have the, I can move wherever I want unnecessarily. I will just go for a long drive. Say I'm bored at home. Go, I will go for the drive. Now, if that kind of tense is there, it will be really difficult. So you need to, and there are a lot of changes also. Now, uh, the concept uh, before uh, 10, 15 years, we were not thinking about the shared taxes. Now there are shared taxes are there. Then now the people are traveling to the offices in the shared vehicle also. If they make more this kind of the measures, then that will definitely uh, help uh, on uh, reducing the emissions. 
साहिल साहिल प्लीज 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 ए वेरी लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन फॉर आई आल्सो विल हैव टू रीड इट गो गूगल इट आउट बाय ओवरसीज डेवलपमेंट इंस्टीट्यूट्स एंड लाइक देयर आर मेनी आई एम सॉरी साहिल इट इज रियली गुड क्वेश्चन या दिस रूशीज आर दैट नेचुरल फैक्टर्स और द एंथ्रोपोलॉजिकल फैक्टर्स इज कॉजिंग मोर चेंज इन क्लाइमेट या इट्स हाउ कैन वी नो वी नो दैट we we are experiencing it we are experiencing now there is a rise in the temperature you need to before 20 years ac was considered as a luxury now ac is a common fan is a like motorcycle i remember when my uh, my father has purchased a motorcycle way back in 1970 a second hand oh everybody saying your papa has got the motorcycle now even a laborer will using the motorcycle so that is imperative that is required that is probably necessity but with that there is a unnecessary use when i still uh, the lifestyle particularly in the city particularly in ahmedabad no sorry don't take it personally but ahmedabad lifestyle i, I found really difficult if you go uh, they will return from the office by 6 6:30 they will have the dinner at home and by 9:30 10 they will be at the again go to the manik chok <laughs> it's really funny and uh, this is going uh, traveling 10 kilometers in a car and walking 2 kilometers so if that kind of the people uh, are using the vehicle for that purposes probably this require change and that that will depend when everybody will understand themselves the citizens action is more important then other aspects because a citizen ultimately whatever if we talk about the industry industry will make the production only when there is a demand there is a consumer that there if the demand is reduced automatically production will reduce so we have to act a lot uh thank you i think your time is less i think or any other questions i don't mind Sir, uh, the last one, only one, yeah. sir. No, no, there is no. Sir, I do not have any question. Yeah, please. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Ah, uh, sir, one last question. It says that that uh, can you please provide some of the examples of successful climate change communication and public engagement campaigns? There are simple, simple solutions. See, long back, rather. it is now 20 years i don't know how far it present is working i remember in 88 we gave a target to the kesho there is a patel vidya mandir high school that we gave the target to the students that collect all paper waste from your compound and recycle it in 88 there were two drums three drums of the paper waste and they were recycled they are an amount at that time it was a big amount 1700 rupees was a big amount for a year for collecting the paper waste from the school compound only but now it is a regular feature that they will not you won't find a, any paper strip you know even a piece of a paper of a bus ticket can fetch a price of the something around 5 rupees kg now it can be recycled why to throw away why to throw away? I, this this is the aspect which i have since 20 or 30 years i am personally using it ghar pe bai aati hai that person the lady comes for the cleaning uh, sweeping and that i i put a piece of paper with the waste and they say why because this is re, can be recycled the waste paper person to collect the paper i give them sir this ka you take it don't give me the money for that but you collect and use for the recycle so that everyone has to act. there was a probably seva rural has the, done you know uh, the rack pickers i am i am considering they are they are really uh, doing a very good service to the society the rack pickers the earlier there used to be the different bags at home the putting up recyclable waste and non recyclable waste and the rack pickers they were given the identity card and they were collecting it in some of the societies otherwise uh, in the society in the apartment nobody is allowing unknown person to enter 
So they were given the identity card. Uh, this kind of the example, though sounds very small, but it is really important. Say, uh, if I talk about the uh, eco restoration stories, the recently in the Bhavnagar, one of the NGOs, they have cleaned up an entire lake. The entire lake was full with the water hyacinth. What is known as a water hyacinth or the icornia. The entire lake was uh, covered with the water hyacinth. So that NGO, they have together worked. They have taken a lot of pain and they have cleaned up that lake, that pond. So similar actions are required. Thank you so much, sir, uh, for answering all the questions. Uh, I'm sure the viewers have benefited from the same. And uh, now I invite Dr. Forum Pandya, co-coordinator, Environmental Law Clinic, to offer the formal vote of thanks. Ma'am, over to you. Thank you, Hiral, ma'am. It is indeed my privilege to offer the vote of thanks on the occasion of World Environment Day. Thank you so much, sir, for being with us today. The session was indeed very informative. Sessions like these are very pertinent considering the adverse effects that environment, uh, the climate change has caused to the environment and our mother earth. So we look forward to having you with us again. Thank you so much, sir. I would also like to thank our director, madam, the backbone of the faculty of law for her valuable guidance and never ending support to all the Environment Law Clinic members and to all my fellow faculty members for their support. Let us all come together and join hands to protect our planet Earth from the effects of climate change. Thank you so much, sir, for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. I made it very clear that this is a new to topic for me rather. No, no sir. It's our privilege to have you on this.